हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट सेशन चैप्टर नंबर एट इंट्रोडक्शन टू ट्रिगोनोमेट्री कंप्लीटेड विद सम एक्स्ट्रा सम इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी रिगार्डिंग द चैप्टर नंबर एट प्लीज टिक मार्क इट वेरी वेल नाउ वी डिस्कस अवर न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर नाइन चैप्टर नंबर नाइन इज सम एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ट्रिगोनोमेट्री लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बेजिक इंट्रोडक्शन बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम योर टेक्स बुक ऑन योर पेज नंबर 195. इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर यू हैव स्टडीड अबाउट ट्रिगोनोमेट्रिक रेशियोज इन दिस चैप्टर यू विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट सम वेज इन विच ट्रिगोनोमेट्री इज यूज इन द लाइफ अराउंड यू ट्रिगोनोमेट्री इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट एंशंट सब्जेक्ट स्टडीड बाय scholars all over the world as we have said in chapter number 8 trigonometry was invented because its need arose in astronomy since then the astronomers have used it for instance to calculate distances from the earth to the planets and stars trigonometry is also used in geography and in navigation the knowledge of trigonometry is used to construct maps determine the position of an island in relation to the longitude and the latitude okay now we flip the page in this chapter we will see how trigonometry is used for finding the heights and distances of various objects without actually measuring them some applications of trigonometry this chapter is useful to find height and distances on a page number 196 and 197 some basic informations are given keep in mind the four words as we know from the chap- chapter number 8 we know the relations of trigonometry ratios with the sides means the adjacent side opposite side and the hypotenuse let discuss first first is the sin theta sin theta is equals to opposite upon hypotenuse cos theta is equals to adjacent upon hypotenuse tan theta is equals to opposite upon adjacent next is the reciprocal of sin which is cosec reciprocal of cos which is sec and reciprocal of tan which is cot cosec theta is equals to hypotenuse upon opposite sec theta is equals to hypotenuse upon adjacent and cot theta is equals to adjacent upon opposite in this chapter most probably tan is used for other trigonometry are also used in the chapter but mostly the tan theta is used for now we discuss some basic terms four words are there line of sight horizontal angle of elevation and angle of depression the four words are most important in this chapter first of all we discuss the definition of line of sight the line of sight is the line drawn from the eye of an observer to
the point in the object viewed by the observer i am a observer whenever i see one object one ray is passes through my eye to the object it is called a line of sight the line of sight is the ray between our eye and to the object the position is of object is below the eye or above the eye means below the horizontal or above the horizontal it depends on the situation of any thing whichever we have to see we have to observe next thing is horizontal 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 means a horizontal line is a ray or line which is parallel to the surface or a base horizontal you can say it for a line or a ray horizontal line is a line parallel to surface there are two words one is line of sight and second is horizontal now the angle of elevation and angle of depression angle of elevation and angle of depressions are two angles angle between the line of sight and horizontal always the angle of elevation and angle of depression are two angles made between the line of sight and the horizontal okay got it the position of object is different the position of object sometimes it is a below from horizontal and sometimes it is above from the horizontal now we discuss the definition of angle of elevation see in your textbook on page number 196 the angle of elevation of the point viewed is the angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when the point being viewed is above the horizontal level that is means is equivalent the case when we raise our head to look at the object whenever we raise our head we raise our head means we have to see upside to upside object is above the horizontal one ray passes through my eye which is horizontal which is parallel to the surface and another ray is my eye to the object it is called line of sight the angle between horizontal and the line of sight it is called the angle of elevation whenever the angle of elevation is made up the object is upside the horizontal line let's see the definition the angle of elevation of the point or object viewed is the angle formed by line of sight with the horizontal when the point b viewed is above 
द हॉरिजोंटल लेवल दैट इज इन दिस केस वॉट हैपन अबाउट द ऑब्जेक्ट इन दिस केस द केस वेन वी रेज our head to look at the object whenever the angle of elevation becomes the object is upside our head or upside the horizontal level now see the figure for that without figure we can't able to solve the sum in this chapter suppose here a point p is observer and here is the object object is q from observer he or she see, see the object from her or his eyes two rays are passes one is a horizontal to the ground and another is p to q p to q it is called line of sight from p one is line parallel to the horizontal parallel to the ground level and another is p to q p to q it is called line of sight and p to suppose r is called horizontal line or simply horizontal the angle between line of sight and horizontal which is suppose right now it is theta this angle is called angle of elevation for the object q got it it is angle of elevation okay whenever the angle of elevation becomes for the object the object is above the horizontal line keep in mind always what it what is angle of elevation now we discuss next definition angle of depression angle of depression is exactly opposite of angle of elevation whenever we down our head and at that time angle made at our eye is called the angle of depression let's see one example when we are on a terrace and we see one bicycle on a road we down our head to see the bicycle one ray from our eye to bicycle it is called line of sight and one ray is a horizontal ray the angle between them it is called angle of depression for a object means a cycle got it what is angle of depression now we see the definition from the textbook what is angle of depression see the definition of angle of depression on a page number 197 the angle of depression of a point on the object being viewed is the angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when 
the point is below the horizontal level horizontal line or a horizontal level means it is the case when we lower or down our head to look at the point being viewed okay now see the figure for it what is our definition the angle of depression of a point on the object being viewed is the angle formed by line of sight and horizontal when a point below the horizontal level suppose a is a point means it is a observer from i we have to see the object object is below the horizontal suppose it is a point b b is a object there are two line one is parallel to the ground level which is called horizontal level or horizontal line horizontal and another which is a to b a is a i and b is a object a to b it is called line of sight the angle between line of sight and horizontal it is called angle of depression for object b angle of depression okay whenever the angle of depression is made up the object is below the horizontal line and whenever the angle of elevation is made up the object is above the horizontal line the angle of elevation and angle of depression are the angles between horizontal and the line of sight but the position of object will be changed sometimes the object is below the horizontal line and sometimes the object is above the horizontal line keep in mind these two definitions for the line of uh, for the angle of elevation angle of depression and the two different words line of sight and the horizontal level note is there horizontal line or level is parallel to ground level means earth value of root 3 is equals to 1.73 and value of root 2 is equals to 1.41 in your textbook the figure 9.1 figure 9.2 and figure 9.3 is given in this figures the angle qpr is the angle of elevation and angle suppose i will i am taking here c angle bac is called the angle of depression got it without the definition we can't able to draw a figure this chapter is depend only on the figure if our figures are correct then the solutions are correct got it very well there are no more theory about this chapter four words keep in mind line of sight 
हॉरिजोंटल लाइन और हॉरिजोंटल लेवल एंगल ऑफ एलिवेशन एंगल ऑफ डिप्रेशन गोट इट नाउ वी डिस्कस अवर न्यू एग्जाम्पल एग्जाम्पल नंबर वन फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर Now we we'll discuss example number one. Theory is completed. See the question in your textbook on page number one ninety one. Example one, page one ninety eight. Keep in mind whenever you see your e-learning session, please take your textbook with yourself because it is a theoretical chapter. There are two long questions are given. Example number one: A tower stands vertically on the ground. From a point on the ground which is 15 meter away from the foot of the tower, the angle of elevation of top of the tower. is found to be 60 degree find the height of tower most important thing in this chapter is figure if figure is correct then our solution is 100% correct a tower stands vertically on the ground as our question says first of all we have to draw a tower tower stands vertically on the ground first of all draw a ground level tower stands vertically on the ground ab it is vertically on the ground so that angle between ab and ground level is 90 degree it is tower okay now what is our next line to say from a point on the ground which is 15 meter away from the foot of tower here b is foot of tower and a is top of tower now we have to take another point suppose point c point c is 15 meter away from the foot of tower it is a 15 meter from this point what happened 15 meter away from the foot of tower the angle of elevation from the top angle of elevation of the top of tower is found to be 60 degree from this point we have to see from this point c to b it is a horizontal and c to a it is a line of sight C to A. There is a no need to write line of sight and horizontal. From the point C, we have to see the top of tower, line of sight, and horizontal angle between line of sight and horizontal. It is called the angle of elevation, and the measure of this angle is given. It is found to be 60 degree. This angle is 60 degree. the sum of this chapter is divided into three parts figure description of figure and the calculation now write the description of this figure in the figure ab is tower a is top of tower and b is foot of tower point c is 15 meter away from foot b bc is equals to 15 meter we need to find height of tower ab ab is equals to height of tower question mark it because we need to find it next is angle acb 
angle ACB is the angle of elevation of top A from point C. Angle ACB is equals to 60 degree. Now we apply one trigonometry ratio as per our requirement. We know angle 60 degree side adjacent to this angle and need to find opposite side AB. For that opposite upon adjacent it is called tan theta in right triangle ABC tan C is equals to opposite AB upon adjacent BC tan C is equals to 60 degree AB as it is we need to find it and BC BC is equals to 15 now how to find value of 1060 from the chapter number 8 some special angles for the trigonometry ratio 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 as per our table 1060 is equals to root 3 root 3 is equals to AB upon 15 make AB as a subject AB is equals to 15 root 3 unit is meter unit is compulsory whenever the value of root 3 or root 2 given in question then substitute here suppose in this question value of root 3 is a given then we have to substitute 15 into 1.73 and we multiply 15 with 1.73 and get it our answer in form of decimal it is called the height of tower but right now the value of root 3 doesn't given in the question so that take as it is 15 root 3 is called the height of tower Therefore, height of tower is 15 root 3 meter. Got it? In this session, we discuss some basic introduction about some applications regarding the trigonometry and completed our example number one from the textbook. Please draw your figure neat and clean with the help of scale and pencil and please keep in mind give the naming ABC as well as the dimension in the figure by using pencil only not by pen. Got it very well. If you have any query regarding the chapter, please tick mark it very well. If you have doubt in theory, please tick mark it. Now whenever we meet in next session, we discuss our next example number 2.